We present here an overview of our research. The core principle of our work is to construct robotic behaviors from simple sensory motor conditionings. In our vision systems, raw images can be processed to extract focus points. A difference of Gaussian filter convoluted with the gradient of the input image allows to detect high curvature points. A specific set of focus points may then characterize a facial expression or a place of the environment. Following a biomimetic approach, we have developed a model of entorinal place cells. This model is inspired by what and where functional theory of the cortical connectivity downstream the hippocampus. The place is defined by a set of specific landmark azimuth couples learned online. Visual landmark recognition provides the what information and models the temporal pathway. The absolute landmark position provides the where information and models the parietal pathway. A place cell is thus defined as the categorization of a pattern of landmark azimuth couples. Sensory motor navigation relies on the learning of conditionings between perceptions, in our case place cells, and actions, meaning the directions to head for. Recognition of a specific place cell triggers the associated action. This principle allows to learn different kinds of navigation behaviors. If the place action couples are adequately learned, an attraction bursting is defined. The robot can learn the succession of place action couples, enabling it to follow a definite trajectory. If the place action couples are convergent, the robot will head for the bottom of the attraction basket. The cognitive map is a more sophisticated way to use place cells. It is a topological representation of the environment, defined as the network of the possible transitions between the different places. Instead of learning conditionings between places and actions, the robot learns conditionings between transitions and actions. Reaching a specific place can be rewarded. The reward potential is diffused through the connective map and acts as a bias on the transition selection. This gradient descent allows to choose the most effective transitions to reach the goal place. In order to investigate how autonomous robots can acquire skill learning capabilities, we follow the developmental approach. A minimal controller based on visuomotor associations can let low level imitation emerge. Initially, the robot learns associations between its hand visual position and its arm motor configuration. Then, because of its limited visual capabilities, the robot can mistake a human hand with its own hand. According to previous learning, there can be an incoherence between visual and motor information. The robot corrects it by moving its arm into the adequate motor position. This emergent immediate imitation can be the basis for more complex skill learning. The visual motor controller and a memorized sequence predicting the next hand visual position are sufficient for reproducing a demonstrated task. Passive manipulation and symbolic rewards are used for teaching the robot how to sort cans according to their color. Using a cognitive map, the robot can learn to perform different goal-related tasks. Imitation is not only important for skill learning, but also for non-verbal communication, notably on the basis of synchrony and rhythm. We developed a model inspired from developmental psychology, enabling the robot to learn to recognize and mimic emotional facial expressions. This model relies on the involuntary imitation of facial expressions known by developmental psychologists as emotional resonance. This mechanism is particularly strong between the baby and its parents. Imitating the baby's facial expression, the parents act as a mirror, reflecting to the baby its own facial expression. The robot internal state triggers a corresponding facial expression. The human partner mimics it. Conditional learning allows the robot to associate the perception of the human facial expression with its own internal state. This learning associates a condition-specific internal state for each facial expression. The robot can thus recognize facial expressions. Moreover, if the robot-conditioned internal state triggers the corresponding facial expressions, the robot mimics the human partner. For over 10 years, our research has been twofold. On one side, we want to model the functions of the main brain structures. On the other side, we want to demonstrate that a bottom-up approach provides adaptive and robust solutions. Our approach allows us to tackle various robotic issues with a model of the same brain structures, from navigation or object recognition to nonverbal human-machine interaction or emotional resonance. Studying how models can allow robots to adapt to physical and social changing environment is a core issue for developing cooperative robotics.